Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So, first things first, Happy New Year's guys. You know, at the timing of this video, it is New Year's, it's a brand new year. You know, January the 1st, 2022. I wish to everybody nothing but the best out there to, you know, hopefully achieve whatever goals you have set. You know, go out there, achieve them, and I wish you honestly the best in everything that you're doing out there. And that's for everybody watching this. Whether you hate me or love me or whatever, just, you know, I still wish you the best. Now, a few things I want to actually say real quick before I do start the actual video. First, uh, if there's any microphone recommendations that you guys can send me for an iPhone 12 Plus or whatever the phone is, I forgot what it is, please send me a link to it or something. I really want a microphone to better improve the quality as far as the sound for the video. The camera's pretty good. I just need something to improve the sound because I really don't want to edit no videos, honestly. Uh, second thing, uh, I do still have videos, old videos that I recorded during Q4, November, December. And just wondering if you guys are still interested in watching those videos so I can upload them. I mean, there's still the one about where someone was robbing <laughs> while I was actually recording a video. So if you guys still want some of those videos, you know, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, just really those two things. But anyways, so hopefully I don't take up more of your time. Basically, we're just going to go over a recap of 2021, you know, the things that we've learned, things, mistakes that we made, some losses, you know, just all that good stuff. So, uh, you know, back in 2021, my end goal sales, we ended up hitting like 220K for the entire year of 2021, which is pretty crazy because my goal for 2021 was actually to just hit 100K. I wasn't expecting to even hit 200K. My goal was just to hit 100K by the end of the year, and I would have been satisfied. But somewhere along the way, we ended up grinding, I guess, way too hard. We put in so much work, put in so much time and focus that we ended up doubling that expectation and ended up coming out with 220K for the end of the year, which is pretty freaking insane, guys. And if there's one thing that I've learned all throughout 2021 is basically how much I underestimate myself so much when it comes to running this Amazon business. Because another thing that I underestimated myself was for the month of December, I was only expecting to hit like 25K because I ran out of so much of my replant inventory in November that I was like, man, I'm not gonna have enough time to restock none of this, none of it's gonna get checked in. I'm no way am I gonna hit over 25K. Well, as of yesterday, we ended up ending the month with like 39,500 bucks for the month of December. So literally by $500, we almost hit another 40K a month, guys. That's freaking insane. Considering I didn't even have my best, you know, replants in stock. So, I mean, it's, it's been a crazy year, guys. Like, and that's not even the crazier part. You already know the craziest part of this thing. You know, back in the beginning of last year, I told myself, you know, it's gonna take me another year or two to actually quit my job just to run this business. And, 10 months later, guess what ended up happening? We ended up quitting our job midway through October. And I mean, that still blows my mind that I actually did that this year. Like I, I literally quit in the middle of October. I put on my two weeks, uh, you know, I, I went for one. And then on that Friday, I basically did. I, told, I already told the guys that I worked with that I was cool with, you know, I told them, I'm not coming back next week. Like, no, I, I'm not coming back. This is it for me. And yeah, they tried calling me and stuff, but yeah, I was, they knew I wasn't going back. So that's the most important thing I've learned about myself in 2021 is how much I really underestimate myself, guys. And I mean, that's just pretty crazy to me still. But yeah, so if there's one thing that a lot of you need to learn about yourself is just how much you underestimate yourself, especially in the short term. So for those of you watching who are doing something, trying to do something, I mean, do something big. Yeah. Just keep putting, you know, put your head down, stay focused, keep working, and you'll be surprised at what you can achieve. Now, another thing that I learned, sorry if I look this way, you know, I got a little sheet of paper with the list of some stuff, is uh, I actually started networking with a lot of different sellers out there, which is crazy because a lot of them actually reached out to me. Like, I probably reached out to maybe one or two, but for the most part, every other seller, they basically reached out to me. And I mean, it's crazy because all these sellers that reached out to me, they make way more than I do, guys. Like, my little 200K in that year, they make that in a month. Like, these are seven, eight-figure sellers we're talking about. Like, then that's another thing that I actually want to go over is that, you know, you look at all these influencers out here, all these 
you know, content creators, you know, flashing all the Lambos, the houses, the girls, the supposedly money they make. But nine out of ten times, they're just random all that crap out, guys. Like, if you really look into some, like, deep into some of the Facebook groups or even just Instagram in general with some of these dudes out there, a lot of them have little to no even social media whatsoever. Like, they'll have, like, two or three photos of themselves or something, but that's it. They'll hardly ever post any stories or anything, but they're making seven, eight figures. Like, these dudes are killing it out here, man. And it just goes to show you that the ones who are really out there killing it have very little time for any of that social media crap, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure you're on it at least scrolling and whatnot, but to be posting and making content, I mean, it takes a lot of work and time. So, I mean, oops, sorry, I accidentally kicked the camera. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, so that's another thing I actually also learned throughout 2021 is you don't be fooled about what you see out there because there's so much underneath it that you don't even know. Or there's actually so much that you don't even see just because it's not there. Like, literally, there's thousands of sellers out there who are making huge money that don't ever post anything. I'm, I say I'm midway, you know. I try to post here and there what I can. But it's also getting time-consuming considering, you know, that I'm trying to scale the business. So I have to put more time into the business versus trying to post content, like, especially on YouTube because... With YouTube, it takes a lot of time to just upload a video. Like, it takes a probably a good hour just to have it uploaded, rendered, and whatnot. And that's only because I don't edit it. Like, if I edit it, my videos, it would take even longer. So, I mean, luckily me, I have, I have you know, I outsource the thumbnails to my boy out there. Uh, the thumbnail wizard out there. The whiz. So, you know, shout out to my boy out there. He's doing his thing. And, yeah. So, other than that, guys, I mean... I also learned just be sending in shipments. That's probably the thing that really boosted my sales up in 2021 was just send, constantly sending in shipments, you know, every single week. And that's the main thing I did from 2021 is that I was sending in shipments on a weekly basis. You know, if I did a box or two, it was gone. If I did 10 boxes, it was gone. And as I started to scale and scale, I added more and more inventory, which meant more boxes every single week to the point where I was doing... I think there was like one time, one or two times where I did send like 30 boxes. So that was a huge shipment right there for me. So yeah, that was pretty insane. But aside from that, guys, I mean, really, that was just the biggest recap of 2021, really. You know, moving forward, some of the goals for this year is really just trying to scale up even more. Like I mentioned on a post before, if you follow me on social media, there was a major move that I made the other day. You know, I managed to get in contact with the supplier. I, you know, I texted the manager in there, he got with me, we talked some things out, and, you know, doing this, I'm going to be able to buy a huge quantity of some of the products I'm already selling, but in bigger quantities, which is going to be a huge game changer, because doing this, it's going to allow me to free up so much time, like, I'm actually going to pick it up tomorrow, I'll try to take a picture of some of it, but I, wanna, I don't want to give out some of my replays because some of you sellers actually do watch my videos. So <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, take my stuff. But, like, it's a huge order. It's, I spent, like, over 3000 on this order. I'm going to go pick it up. Uh, I mean, just doing this alone, guys, I'm going to be able to have it all in one day. Prep either the same day or maybe even start prepping it on Monday. And literally have it shipped out that same day or the next. Like, I'm going to be able to cut my work time in half just doing this. And that's just from that shipment alone. That shipment alone will probably cover me for at least a good solid month. So that alone saves me days of having to try to get that in, you know, separate quantities. So by doing this, it frees up my time to do other things, you know, like posting content, actually. Doing this allows me to free up to start making more videos and documenting the journey. And I guess teaching you guys if you want me to teach you, I mean not really trying to be a guru in this space you know i'm just documenting what i do but if you guys want me to teach you some things i could if you request it and i mean yeah it's gonna be pretty awesome another thing for the year i mean i guess let's go for 400k for this year right who knows when i end up hitting a million for all i know i mean i doubt it because i'm you'll need a huge amount of capital to make that happen but hey sky's the limit you never know I mean, I've underestimated myself so much, it might just be possible. But yeah, that's basically the biggest goals out there, so, you know, as far as with the business, you know, aside from that, just personal stuff, but you know, that's a whole different thing. 
But yeah, just really that, just scaling. I mean, as far as like a warehouse, I don't really see that happening for another year or two until I really start making some real, real, real money. Because currently what I'm making in profit is just enough to pay my mortgage, you know, pay the car, you know, uh, just pay the bills for me and my family, really. So once I start making real money to where I'm making you know, double that, then yeah, then I will look into some warehouse space and really just start hiring some good people out there to hopefully work with me. Especially some dudes I already know, like they're willing to work and hopefully we'll make it happen down the road. But for 2022, those are my two main goals right there is to just scale, hit 400k, and yeah, we'll see how it goes with the supplier, because I'm actually going to try to contact another supplier that I have in my contacts right now. I'm going to call him on Monday and see if we can work something out, because if I contact this supplier also, that's going to be a huge game changer, guys. Like, this is going to break through so much that it's not even going to be funny. Like, I don't even know what to say if this really happened, but... Hopefully it goes well. I mean, like I mentioned earlier, Happy New Year's, guys. I mean, for now, that's all I'm going to say. I have nothing else, really, other than, yeah, just Happy New Year's. You know, keep following me for the journey. Be sure to smash that like button if you do like the video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And please drop me some links or any recommendations to a good microphone so that the quality does get better with the videos. But aside from that, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. You know, enjoy the rest of these holidays. Happy holidays to everyone, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.